Hello, and welcome to this online training module dedicated to the advanced security features of the STM32H7, the Root Security Services, or RSS. It is strongly advised to have already viewed the online training module, Memory Protection. Root Secure Services, or RSS, are ST-ROM code that are part of the STM32H7 security features. These firmware services are available in Secure Access Mode, the new security device configuration introduced with the STM32H7 series. For a definition and how to set the Secure Access Mode, Please refer to the online training module STM32H7 Memory Protections. The main secure service provided by RSS is the Secure Firmware Install, or SFI. This service ensures firmware confidentiality when transferring data to the flash and prevents overproduction in unsecure manufacturing environments. To achieve a high level of protection, ST's solution relies on asymmetric cryptography with a private and unique key for each STM32H7 device. The SFI procedure is detailed in the coming slides. RSS is also used to manage protected areas such as the PC ROP or secure user memory. These protection features are also detailed in the online training module STM32H7 Memory Protection. RSS relies on a specific memory protection mechanism presented in this slide. As with all other STM32 products, STM32H7 embeds a read-only area within the flash memory. This area, called System Flash Memory, embeds ST firmware such as a bootloader and the RSS functions. Note that only the Cortex-M7 core has access to the System Flash Memory. The Cortex-M4 core can never access it, neither read nor execute access. Sensitive RSS functions with confidential algorithm and cryptographic keys are embedded in a specific part of the system flash memory, the secure system memory. This memory has specific access rules that grant a very high level of protection to the device. It is only available in secure access mode. The device must be set in this mode before any RSS services can be accessed. Access to most RSS services are granted after a system reset. The Cortex-M7 core can then safely execute the service required by preempting all other processes running on either one of the cores. When RSS execution is completed, the device jumps to the user application and the secure system memory is no longer accessible until the next system reset. RSS services can be called either by direct application programming interface or API functions or by specific bootloader commands. RSS functions and bootloader command set are given for reference in the next slide. RSS services can be split into two kinds depending on the confidential data or code they manipulate. Critical services are the ones that manipulate confidential data, such as cryptographic keys, or that require a safe execution from other processes. A system reset is triggered before execution of these services. Critical RSS services include secure firmware or module install, and initialization of secure user memory and PC ROP areas removal. Uncritical services do not require access to confidential data and can be executed without any reset. This slide lists the RSS services available and how they can be called. Services called by Direct API are the ones that can be called by device administration firmware. These services allow secure area management. RSS services used for Secure Firmware Install, or SFI, are accessed by the STM32 Cube Programmer tool. Refer to the dedicated application notes for details. This slide presents the RSS services that are used to manage the protected areas of the device. These services allow the setting and management of the secure user memory. 
This memory is for critical user firmware that will be executed in a safe environment. Typical applications of such critical firmware are Secure Firmware Update, or SFU, and Secure Bootloader. For a detailed description of the secure user memory functionality, please refer to the STM32H7 training module Memory Protections and to Application Note AN4925. This slide describes the main RSS service, which is the Secure Firmware Install, or SFI. SFI is used to securely transfer firmware to the device in an unsafe manufacturing stage. Firmware is protected against copy and overproduction by cryptographic algorithms. Each STM32H7 device is provisioned by ST Microelectronics with chip asymmetric key pairs and certificates for device authentication and firmware confidentiality. The device's private key is embedded in the secure system flash, and only the STRSS service can access it. The SFI cryptographic flow is described in this image. First, the firmware is encrypted with Advanced Encryption Standard in Galois Counter Mode, or AES GCM. Then a firmware license for the device is generated from the firmware encryption key and the device's public key. This license can only be used by the targeted device. Finally, the encrypted firmware is transferred to the device and decrypted before being stored in the user flash memory. The cryptographic data flow presented in the previous slide requires specific tools. An encryption tool for the firmware, a license server to generate the firmware license associated to a device, and a flasher tool to execute the SFI sequence through the device bootloader. The SFMI preparation tool is ST's solution and is available on the ST.com website. It implements the AES GCM algorithm and generates the encrypted firmware image with the correct header and option byte description. It can also be used for third-party modules for firmware update applications. The Secure License Server is required to generate the license from the device certificate and the firmware key. This server is under the product owner's responsibility and is accessed by the product manufacturer. The Flasher tool drives the SFI sequence by using the device bootloader with its RSS extension. It fetches the device certificate gets the firmware license from the license server, and transfers the encrypted firmware to the device. You can get ST's flasher tool, STM32 Cube Programmer, on ST.com, or use one of our partners. STM32 Trusted Package Creator implements the AES GCM algorithm and generates the encrypted firmware image with the correct header and option byte descriptions. It can also be used for third-party modules for firmware update applications. The Secure License Server is required to generate the license from the device certificate and the firmware key. This server is under the product owner's responsibility and is accessed by the product manufacturer. The Flasher tool drives the SFI sequence by using the device bootloader with its RSS extension. It fetches the device certificate, gets the firmware license from the license server, and transfers the encrypted firmware to the device. You can get ST's flasher tool, STM32 Cube Programmer, on ST.com, or use one of our partners. Please refer to the Flash Memory Protection Training to learn more about the memory architecture, option bytes, and flash operations. You will find detailed descriptions and explanations of the RSS concept in the following application notes and user manuals. Application note AN2606 describes the bootloader feature. Application note AN4992 describes the SFI procedure in detail. And application note AN4925 gives an example of the secure user memory. User manuals for STM32 Cube Programmer and STM32 Trusted Package Creator are also available on the ST website.